Hi all, it's Andy from Solar Reviews here again and this review we're making is of Jinko Solar Panels. It's our 2021 update to our X review for Jinko, one of the largest solar manufacturers in the world. For those of you who don't know or haven't watched any of our other uh, solar panel manufacturers reviews videos, we rank uh, solar panel manufacturers on a score out of 50 um, using a number of different criteria that we think are important uh, in terms of evaluating the overall bankability of a solar panel manufacturer and that aren't always obvious to consumers. So in relation to Jinko, as I said, in terms of volume, one of the biggest manufacturers in the world, I think their volume in 2020 was somewhere in the range of sort of 14 to 17 gigawatts. Just to give you an idea, market leader SunPower in America, I think, had a volume of something like two to three gigawatts. So, you know, these very large Chinese tier one companies like Jinko and Longyi and Trina and Canadian uh, Solar, they are the largest manufacturers of solar panels in the world. Very high quality, very uh, highly automated uh, robotic controlled manufacturing. So um, the, the impression that we sometimes have that Chinese gear is all junk in relation to some other things, inverters, you know, perhaps I think that's a might be a fair statement sometimes, but in relation to these tier one Chinese manufacturers, they actually are very high quality manufacturers uh, and very, very good companies. So turning now to our uh, rating score for Jinko Solar, in terms of module quality, uh, we looked at their Eagle module, their 370 uh, watt module, which is a fairly standard residential size of uh, 60 cell module. You're talking a efficiency of around 20.4 percent so that puts it you know a couple of percent below the very market leader uh, in terms of sun power which is around 22.8 so you know uh, it, they only scored 7 out of 10 for the module quality. The other thing we measure is temperature coefficient in working out that module quality ranking and theirs at around 0.35. Again is sort of good, it's okay, but it's, it lags behind the market leaders. Uh, SunPower at minus 0.27% and uh, LG at uh, minus 0.29%. So, um, Credible but not outstanding. In terms of financial visibility, Jinko score quite well there. We scored them 10 out of 10. Now the reason being is they've been listed on the New York Stock Exchange since 2010, so we've got a long history of visibility. Their revenues are really quite large. Uh, we're talking $5.38 billion in revenue uh, in US dollars. Uh, their profit was pretty slim in 2020, but nonetheless they were still profitable. They made a small profit of around 35 million dollars so that you know suggests to me that you know they as far as solar company goes they're they're pretty stable we probably would have liked to see a little more profit and in previous years they have made much larger uh, uh, profits and I think it was more some accounting adjustments that really skewed that number down for 2020 so we did st still score them at 10 out of 10 for financial strength and visibility based on the size of the company in terms of USA investment, uh, Jinko Solar have a factory in Jacksonville, Florida, 400 megawatt uh, a year flat factory, so it's a pretty significant size factory. So we scored them four out of five uh, for USA um, brand investment. Dealer Network, they scored a little lower um, than some other companies, th three out of five. They don't have the depth or quality of the dealers uh, at this stage. Um, but again, I, I expect over time that these Chinese, these tier one Chinese brands, and there's a very big difference in my mind between these four or five very good tier one brands of Chinese companies and a whole raft of second tier brands, which I wouldn't touch with a, a 10 foot pole. So, but it, at this point, they don't have the, the depth and the quality of the local installers selling these as what brands like SunPower and LG and Panasonic and some others have. So um, they scored a little bit lower at three out of five for that. Where they do score very well is on value. We allow 15 points out of the 50 for a value rating. So in terms of the wholesale level, you probably can pick these up, you know, in 
container sort of volumes if you're a reasonable size dealer for probably around that you know 45 to 50 cents a watt mark substantially cheaper than those biggest brands of, of best um, you know more highly rated and sort of known solar panels in in America such as LG and SunPower and Panasonic so so score highly they scored 12 out of 15 for value uh, which was pretty good um, not the cheapest of the tier 1 Chinese uh, panels but fairly good in terms of warranty they also scored uh, three out of five they have a linear warranty which is means that they guarantee 98 percent output of their panels from the first year then their output falls only 0.55 of a percent each year out to 25 years which means at the end of 25 years they are still guaranteeing that 84.25 percent of the initial um, rating power of the panel will still be produced by the panel. So overall, 39 out of 50 puts it in the excellent category, puts, us, puts them fourth on our uh, list of solar panel brands for 2021. Very respectable effort, only one point away from the elite category. Um, so we, uh, this year only LG, Qcells and Longy uh, met the elite category, but very, very close and may well reach it next year. Also on our site is our solar calculator. So if you want to jump on and work out how much the cost of a solar system that will suit your home will be, how much it will save, what you're likely payback period and all that sort of stuff will be. There's an open solar calculator you can use without putting any personal details in. Stick your bill and your location in there and it will work it all out for you. And then you can push through and find dealers of Jinko and other brands panels if you choose to want to do so. Hope that's helpful if you're looking at Jinko panels to hear our views on it and good luck with your solar shopping experience.